Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition. Now, thank you so much guys for waiting for this next episode. There will be live once a week, like I say. I did explain that in the other episode, and a lot of people thought these episodes were ending, judging by what I said last episode. Now, these episodes will never completely end, but there will be sub-series from these series. So, example, uh, building specific worlds, or... I don't know, farming out items, because I used to have a series called Quest to Get All Items, and that was a sub-series from my main Let's Play, so what I plan to do is do sub-series from my main Let's Play, but I did want this series itself to end at 100, but still do Trier X with Let's Plays, just not on this exact series, because this is obviously a Let's Play series, but it will be like a Let's Build series, or um, Quest to Get All Items, but it will still go along, so it will end at 100, but I'll still do episode 101, but instead of it being called Terraria x and Let's Play, it will be called Terraria Quest to Get Out Items or something like that. It'll be something along the name of that, but I will never end this series, so don't worry guys. Today I am indeed going to build another pick slot. You're going to have to, I want you guys to guess before I do it though. I want you guys to guess what I'm going to do. Now, I've got shoutouts coming next episode as well. So, before anyone says the shoutouts weren't involved this episode, yes, they wasn't involved this episode. But today, we have Piperus, we have Sans, we've got the Cat Mario, Pikachu, Mushroom, Kirby, Creeper, Sonic, and I think we've got Batman, Superman. This little thing that I've not finished off yet, certainly different and not even. <laughs> we need more blocks. Batman and Superman with the Batman logo because I think that Batman wins there. And that is all of our pick slots. Wow, we haven't actually done that many. It does look like a lot when you look at it this way. They might not be the best looking, but I like to use different blocks and experiment with different blocks because I think they look better than just painting them because I could just get a load of wood and just paint it. But I like using these blocks. And it does actually get the most out of these blocks because some of these blocks like snow. You're never going to use snow. You'll probably use the build once, but... You're never really going to use snow. Things like flesh blocks, what can you actually use them for? There's no real use of them other than just to build pixel arts or buildings with them. Again, I think I use honey for this. Honey, another one that you're not really going to use that much, to be honest. Uh, wood, you might use that. Asphalt blocks, you could use those. But, you know, there's tons and tons of blocks that people don't really use, that they don't get the most out of. And that's what I love about pixel arts, because you can use them to make different pixel arts. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead. Guess below what you think I'm building out of these blocks. So what you'll need to build this is blue brick or any sort of grey brick. Uh, the blue brick, in my opinion, looks sort of grey. If you look at um, Sans thingy, it looks sort of grey. So I'm going to be using that for grey. But we've got grey, snow block, cactus, assault block, flesh block, and cobalt block. Now, I don't know the exact number you'll need for this, but we will sort of work out. You probably need about... I don't know, try get a couple of hundred of each block. I don't know if I'm going to run out of the blue because you don't need much blue for this. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, I will speak to you guys very soon.
And there we have it. We have built our pick slot. That was actually really cool. And his head looks a bit weird, but overall, that is awesome. Willy the Traveler Merchant also did arrive, and that looks awesome on the map. Now, if you didn't guess what it is already, it is Luigi, and I think that looks really, really nice. Of course, I don't think you're supposed to add the white bits there. I'm not 100%. If they're supposed to just be like his feet, because obviously they're the feet going on the off and off ped, off and on pedal. So maybe I could have done them a different colour, but overall, I think it looks really cool. Looks really cool there, and I think dirt went well with the skin, which I did miss out on the actual start. I did actually miss that out, but I think that looks really nice, and it's a nice addition to our Mario side of the pixel arts. I do want to build a normal Mario, some more maybe like this. I don't know. I don't know how many I can find like this. I do have Wolverine I want to do. I do want my, I do my own character as well. If anyone can do a PNG, a high graphic PNG uh, pixel art of this, so like do it on a grid, and you know if you type in pixel art into Google, it will give you a grid. Now, the one thing I love about doing pixel arts is the fact that you can start and it looks nothing like what you're doing and then you keep going and then it just begins slowly to look more and more like what you're doing so it's really cool and I like how it forms together because I wouldn't have guessed that was Luigi if that was me guessing it I would never have guessed that was Luigi in a um, Mario Kart and Mario Kart is one of my favorite Wii games so there you go guys you learn something new every day Mario Kart is indeed one of my Wii games so look at all the loot that we got from literally just sitting here doing nothing that was mostly my uh, minion that was shooting shooting them all we've got arrows lenses we've got demon eye banner lenses again we don't need any of it and the reason why I put all my stuff up here rather than having it in my quick selection is there was too much of it and the quick selection for me is not really a thing that I like doing I don't know why I've never really got used to the quick selection hopefully they remove it and add something else like on the PlayStation I prefer how the PlayStation one is laid out but you know some of you guys might like it personally I don't but it's just a personal opinion of mine you might love it and I have nothing nothing wrong with that if you love it then that's perfectly fine because uh, it's just me who doesn't like it and a lot of people use the quick select I, I would use it and a lot of people keep telling me that you can use potions by clicking X now if I did press X and I had like a gravitation potion in this case I don't um, or I just didn't want to use another potion I've got say if I was saving an eye skin po iron skin potion and I used a health potion then it would use every single other potion that I had and it's really really annoying because it uses the potions maybe that you don't want to use a lot of people always suggest it to me I know that's a thing in the game, but personally, I don't need to use it. Now, I do want Willy to have the um, fishing pole. I don't know. I think it was the... Wait, what is it again? Some sort of fishing pole. Let's see if he's got it. He hasn't, but he does have a celestial magnet. I don't think I've actually got that. So, we'll take a one celestial magnet with the magic hat. I'm going to take that as well, just in case I don't have it, but I do have everything else. Now, nothing else is going to help us. Willie is quite a random name, isn't it? I like the name. It's a, I think it is a Scottish name, I, I believe. Don't quote me on that, though. But Willie, yeah, I believe it is a Scottish name, so it's a really cool name, and we need to find a place to put this. Let's just put them in here for now. Shh, shh, the chests are really messy. Don't say anything. Don't tell anyone. Don't kill me. But we're going to go to our uh, traveling, not traveling merchant. I'm going to go to our quest fish guy, and he wants a mushroom fish so we're gonna go in the mushroom biome go get him a fish and hopefully we can get it in time we can put all of our quest things let, let me just check if i press x on one of these potions see you didn't use a health potion which were pretty good but it did use every other potion so i might try pressing x and now i know that works because that does that's actually really helpful definitely really helpful but i don't know if um this counts as mushroom biome i don't know how i'm gonna get the the amount of uh, mushroom biome water up I don't know, I might might destroy one of the layers and then have like, um, you know what I've done there? But I've destroyed one of the layers, so what I might do is build it up a little bit higher, hopefully. And, uh, you know, I don't need, I don't really need truffle worms anymore, so it's not really going to affect it that much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove a layer right now. And once I've removed the layer, I will, um, yeah. So it's, gonna, it's still going to be mushroom biome, and as you can see, the background is mushroom, so we do... Definitely know it's a mushroom biome. And we'll just keep going and going to get some things from the water. We'll go fill up our buckets, get loads of water. That way we will be able to build a big enough... <laughs> Look at this lack beetle coming to kill me. Or well, actually it's a, a con con continental beetle or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. But a load of normal mobs are spawning. We've got loads of bats out there ready to destroy me when I, when I walk out the door. But we do already have a load of 
blocks. I think there is 44 sets of water in there. So hopefully I can make it a bit longer. I don't know if it's long enough actually, but... I know you need it 100 by 100 or at least 400 blocks full of water. So we'd actually need to fill the buckets up 10 times for them to work efficiently, I think. Which would suck because I don't think I've got enough enough to do that. But this is actually classing as mushroom biome right now. So that's the good thing. And we can get rid of that and we will get loads of mud blocks. What we'll do is we'll make it higher. We'll actually make it deeper as well. Say there. And then we'll make it up to there. Yeah, there. And then what we'll do is we'll fill it up with water. We'll go grab the water from the bottom. And hopefully build on this uh, water biome. And make this our official fishing biome for the for the for for anything when we need any of these quest fish. I don't actually know what the quest fish is called. I, I guess it's just like... um. I'm not actually too sure what it's called. Would it be called a mushroom fish? I guess it might be. But yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. We've just got to put these up here as well. Let me just get rid of these so it makes it into like a longer biome. Now, like I say, I think there is... Hmm, I'm not too sure. But I think there's 44 water in here, like I said. Let's just uh, do this. I'm going to do a trick right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to destroy all this again. I need to use my quick select. I really need to make use of that quick select, don't I? I just never do. It's not really a thing that I've really enjoyed doing since the game. There we go. And it makes two sets of water. As long as I keep putting it in like this, I'm just going to do it quite fast. I'm just going to keep placing out. Hopefully it fills up quite fast. There we go. It's just slowly filling up. Hopefully, like I say, we can use this as well for our official biome where we come and get uh, any of the quest fish for the water one. Let's go fill these back up now. Just wondering if I could put the uh, is it ammo then, but it's not going to work as ammo, is it? Oh, the Arapacamas are super strong. Jeez. Super strong Arapacamas. 10 out of 10. Well, this is actually still classed as mushroom biome because the background's still mushroom. That's not, though. Okay, so as soon as... Yeah, as soon as we leave this area, it don't class as mushroom, but should still class as mushroom as long as we stay in this sort of area. But there isn't any water here, so we can't, we can't eff eff effectively use it. There we go. We've got a full set of water again. So let's uh, bring this water. I'm pretty sure you need 100 by 100, which will be uh, 400 probably. 400 blocks of water. So I don't know if this is even going to work, but, you know, I'll, I'll give it a go. Definitely give It's worth giving a go. But the only bad thing about the mushroom biome is it is one of the strongest biomes in the game. So you do get a lot of the different mobs that will actually destroy you. Especially those spores. Those spores are super strong. Arapacanos have started spawning as well, which suck. Which doesn't exactly suck, but you know what I mean. We just don't need them at the minute. <laughs> we just really don't need them. Now, I don't know if that's a big enough biome to thing in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more water. Once we have more water, it should be a big enough biome. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope it's a big enough biome. Because we do have a bunch of water down here that we can just grab. Because there's so many down here that we don't need all this for this biome. So when we do uh, get things from this biome, it will just be from here. And hopefully, it won't class as... Um, whatever other biome we need. So we could actually turn that all into mushroom. We could put a load of mud, bl mud blocks down and use the Clementator and actually do that. But I think it's faster just to fill them up from here. And the reason I'm saying that is because um, I'd have to move all of the mushroom blocks over. So hopefully now this is going to be enough. I'm just going to spam it in. I'm just hoping it's enough. Here we go. Just uh, spam it all in. Right. Fingers crossed this is enough. I'm, I'm just going to hope it is. It's a self-made biome. But uh, the truth is now, is it big enough? I actually wasted all my potions as well. I realized that. If anyone said anything, I just realized I have just wasted all of my potions. So, yeah, I've, the only one I've got left is my fishing potion. And it does get the Neon Tetra. So, it is a fishing biome. And, yeah, it's given us all the different fish. So, yeah, it's big enough to fish in. I might build a thing down here now. A, um teleporter so i can get down here when i need to fish i might uh, make it into like a little biome put some chests down here so i can fill them in okay those fungi fungi spawns are going to be really annoying rock fish as well yep we are getting all of them now lovely neon tetra can we, can we get the quest fish that we need now if you do have any suggestions or what else you want to see me do on these series if it's just buildings or anything i am um, i'm open to suggestions i love love building on this game it's a great thing to do i'm not very good at it but I will give it a good go. I'll give it a good go. We've got a stink fish as well. Wow. The names of these fish are crazy. Come on. Give me give me the fish I need. I don't know, even, know, even know if this is the right place to fish this. Just assuming it is. It's going to fish for about two more minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to speed this part up. So I will speak to you in two minutes, guys. And see you then. Welcome to 
actually looks like our look has run dry and it doesn't look like we're getting much more there what i might do is next time i might fill it more with water but it did actually notice a um truffle worm it, it slid all the way down here then it just fell down here and it went down here and just disappeared i guess but that was really cool and can you see all the mobs look at all the bats down there it's just amazing the amount of jungle bats that are there but a bizarre thing did happen and the, <laughs> look look what spawned here a Plantera spawner spawned right in front of me. So we are actually going to fight that right now. Oh, whoa, that's enraged. Oh, no, an enraged Plantera. Uh-oh. I think that's because it might not be in its normal biome. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Um, I, best, I guess the best thing we can do is just try and kill it. Uh-oh. No. Uh, it's the only thing I can say. Uh-oh. Uh, it, it's going to kill me, isn't it? Now it's enraged even more. Yep, that, that can kill us in one shot if that wants to do it. How are we going to live this? How are we going to even live this? No, we were slain. We almost took him down. I forgot he gets enraged when he's not in his normal biome. Well, that was pretty silly of us. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Lesson learned. Don't do it if it is there. <laughs> it's the only thing I can do. Ah, oh, no. What I was going to do is I was actually going to talk to my angler, though. Because I don't think we're going to get that quest fish anymore. No, it still says we got it. That's the really weird thing. Because it might not class as a full... I don't know, though. I'm pretty sure it does class as a full jungle biome. Oh, I a full mushroom biome, sorry. So, oh, it's just really annoying, though. Really, really annoying. We're going to try and fish, I don't know, for a little bit longer. But I, I still can't believe that failed. <laughs> if you are ever fighting the Plantera, just do not fight him while you've got a biome like this around. Because he will just destroy you. And he'll take all of your coins. He'll take all of your money. Let's try and make this biome a little bit bigger. Let's try and steal some more water. See if it helps. I don't know if it's going to help at all. But let's just steal some more water. We're just getting absolutely destroyed there. Slaughtered by piranhas and jungle slimes and stuff. Right, there we go. They're all dead. Right, oh yeah, I forgot to summon all my stuff in. Let me just summon all that in quickly. There we go. That should have summoned everything in now. And it has used my all my potions. Like I say, it does use all your potions then. It does actually use them all, which sucks because... What if you don't want to use them all? Oh, so you don't use your health potions. But if you press X, it uses every single other potion. So don't use health potions, but it uses every single little... What is the point in that? Personally, to me, I don't see the point in that. Why it uses every other potion, but not that one. We, we have run out of sonar potions now, so that's unfortunate. But the Angry Trapper, we have a chance to get the Uzi. A lot of people ask me how to get the Uzi, and that's the way you get the Uzi off the Angry Trappers. Really good way to get it. And it's just really cool. I, I like getting the Uzi because it's a really strong weapon. Especially when you've just hit hard mode and you get it. Which is what was in my case. I, I recently hit hard mode. I got the Uzi. And I was so, so happy at the time. But let's see now if it will give us this quest fish. Now we have a sonar potion. Alright, Neon Trap. It's give us two golden carps. How can it give us two golden carps and not give us one of the quest fish? Like, this is the hardest quest fish I have probably ever tried to get. And I mean ever. We are in the mushroom biome because the background is the mushroom. So you just look at the background when you're trying to look at the background for a wooden crate. We'll take that. Okay, we missed out on it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. But I just really want the quest fish. I don't know why it's not giving it. A... There's another truffle worm down there. Look. See it, where, where those things are to the left? That's actually really rare that I found two of those. If I was farming for those, that would just be bonus. That would just be amazing. There's two. There was two down there. If you actually look down there, there was two sliding around. But I don't have my um, don't have my net to catch it, unfortunately. So I won't be able to catch it. 
I don't know why it's not picking everything, anything up because I'm actually fishing and shouldn't be picking stuff up because this biome's huge now for water. There's a lot of, lot of things here. The truffle worms are still there. R.I.P. Me. Is that truffle worm glitched? Nope. It it it's moving again. It just it just stands stood still for a little bit. And then it started moving again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and um go over to this side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the fishing rod. Hopefully. Nope, nope, okay, so, there we go. So I'm going to throw the fishing rod in there to see if that helps. I don't know if it's going to help or not, but there we go. So I'm going to keep doing this and keep throwing it in. Hopefully I don't get killed by any of the things, but hopefully that is long enough now. There we go. No, no, it didn't pick it up. No, just as I got it as well, but it looks like this is working now then. Come on, don't give me tin, don't do this. I don't want tin cans, D don't mess me about. Just give me the quest fish and I missed out on it, didn't I? What a derp. Me all over again. Come on. Give me what I need. Got 1 minute 22 left of the sonar potion. Don't give me tin cans. Don't do this, please. Don't mess about. Just give me... F no. Oh, it's giving me fish again. Good. It's giving me bass. That's good. It's good. Come on. Give me the fish I need. Don't give me seaweed. Don't give me bass. Give me, give me the quest fish. If it doesn't give me it in a few seconds, this is it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quit. Just gonna throw the game out the window. No, I'm joking. Got a tin can there. All right. Doesn't look like it likes this bait. Maybe, it's, maybe it is the bait that it don't like. I don't know. Truffle worms are still down. There we go. Boom. Got it. Right. I'm gonna hand in this quest. I can't believe there's two truffle worms down there. I missed out on them. That's actually really bad because I don't think I've got any truffle worms left either. So yeah, I might go check if they're still down there. I don't know if there will be. There we go. We got the angler earring again. That's another time I've got that. We got, did get a few bait, but we've got a bunch of fish, including the golden carp, which will be worth money. But I'm actually going to keep one just in case I don't have one. Let me just check if I've got one or not. Yep, I actually have one. So I'm going to sell all these. I can get them all again any other day. Oh, and he's selling the princess outfit. <laughs> Best vanity ever. I actually wore that for quite a while. We do already have the angler earring, but I'm actually going to keep it just in case I need it one day. Uh, let's get rid of something really useless in here, like these rich mahogany platforms. I'm actually going to keep them on me just in case I need platformers one day. Don't think I will, but maybe one day I will. Okay, that's good. We do have seven wooden crates as well, which is awesome. Let's uh, open all these up. Yes, we've got German journeyman bait. That's what I'm going to look for the most, the journeyman bait, because they're the um, things that I need the, the most, or any sort of bait. Apprentice bait, journeyman bait. Anything like that really, really helps out. And I do now have a total of 19 bait, which is way more than I had to start off with. So that's actually, it's made me really happy. It's made me um, think maybe I should take iron skin potions next time I'm feeding a, a rage plantera. I think that would be a good idea, to be honest, because the enraged plantera is solid. We were doing a good job, though. We did actually live out quite a long time, so I'm actually quite happy about it. But then again, we did die, which is not what we really need. Now, we could talk to the merchant just in case those... Nah, then they're not going to be there. They disappear, don't they? Hmm. I was so tempted to do it. Hopefully a... Um... Oh, no. I've, just... I've actually thought about that. What if a Plantera spawner spawns in a house? What are we going to do then? We won't be able to do anything then, will we? <laughs> we just legit won't be able to do anything, which would suck. It's almost daytime as well, though. So we'll be able to do another... We'll be able to do another quest in a minute. I'm pretty sure it's 4 a.m. that it... All right, don't have another... We'll try at 4.30, because sometimes at 4.30... All right, it's going up slowly. So, uh, if you haven't checked out my world already, here's my world. We've got the pick slot that we did today, which is really cool. I've actually really enjoyed doing that. And what I really want to do is explore some of these areas that I haven't done. I always say this in every single episode, but I never end up doing it. So, next episode, what I might do is explore those areas I haven't, so I can, like, see sort of see what I've missed out on or, or anything like that. Because it'd be really cool. And once we've got all the map open, I think the next thing we should do is start to excavate some of the areas. So, like, make massive rooms and stuff. Then maybe build underground. That's always a thing that, always a thing that I've wanted to do all the time. It's just a thing that I've wanted to do a lot. So, it's 4.25. I'm going to wait till 4.30. And then that way, um, I can check if the quest is reset. Because I'm pretty sure it's 4.30 when it resets. I'm not, not 100%, though. If we, we do talk to the angler, let's take a look if it says anything about the angler. We've got a house. We've got a thing. The angler is movable with a teleporter. That's fair enough. Uh, completing the quest. Quest rewards. Uh, it doesn't actually say every time the quest is done. But when uh, you have to complete 150 quests, 
the chances of getting things is 6.67. So you can actually get things more faster once you've done 150 quests. So all the things that you can get from it will get faster. So you get like the bunny fish trophy, the goldfish trophy, you can get all those. But you can't currently get those on the console edition unless you're on PlayStation. So uh, you can hold out till we get those. Let's check if the quest is there. Yes! na 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 and I am pretty, I'm 90% sure that the Batfish is in any underground or cavern biome. It can also be in the underworld. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to travel over here for that one. No, 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 over here. We're not even on the right floor. We're not even on the right floor. So how, how can I ever even imagine to do that? So let's go ahead and go through this one, which is the only one working. And we need to go to the underground cavern or underworld so what we need to do is we need to travel this way we do have an underground cavern this way the underground cavern i think is the gray background if not it's the other one so that's just like a normal underground that's that's the first floor of it and then you'll see there this is the cavern and i think this is this is where i fished before i think i believe it is anyway i think this is where i fish i didn't fish here before then i did fish somewhere else oh yeah i haven't got any any potions on I'm actually going to leave my potions out and just fish. See if I can get lucky with it. So let's try and fish about 10. And then if I don't get it in 10, I'll use one of my fishing potions to increase my fishing level. Okay, so we've got a stink fish. You get those quite a lot, don't you? Stink fish. You get them in loads of different biomes, which suck. So we've got a stink fish. All right, we didn't get anything there. What's it going to give us next? I'm, I'm really questioning what I'd get off that plantera if I would have killed it. No, I probably would have got the axe knowing me because I'm a derp like that. I just, I just know it would have been. I'm like 90% sure it probably would have been the axe if we, if we would have got it. Come on, do we, do we have a better underground biome with more water? Yes, we do. We do. We do. What am I doing? I've got a massive biome over here with it. Where am I even going? I don't even know. But I've got a massive biome just to the left. Jeez. Actually, is it this one? No, it's just under us. Huh. So I don't know why I was fishing there when I've got a bigger biome here. There we go. I can fish. I can fish right here now. Toxic sludge. Go away, Plos. There we go. So let's fish from here now. Ah, oh, toxic sludge. Go away. <laughs> Just following us. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to speed this part up until I can get a bat fish. If I can get one, I don't know if I'm going to get one. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. And there we go, guys. We have got the Batfish now. So we did actually get two. I did get one earlier on. And then I obviously uh, tried to get more. But I tried to get more than I could have. I could try get more. But I don't think I'm really going to get that much more of the Batfish. Because they do seem quite, quite rare to get to me. I don't know why they just do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap the Souls of Night. And we're going to go sell those because we don't use them. Let's just uh, talk to our angler, though, to get this quest done. Wherever he is. Normally he's chilling down. Is he down here? Is he underneath him? Yes, he is. <laughs> I don't know why NPCs do that. They just sit underneath each other. Okay, ha ha. So he's given us a fish hook. Don't know what that actually does. There's actually no... What does that actually do? There's no... um. There's no use to that. Uh, We can't equip it, I don't think. Well, what is it then? Is the... does it... Do we place it or something? Is, this... is it placeable? Oh, it's a fish hook. Oh, that makes sense. You get fish come out of it. How many, how many can you actually do? So there's one, two. All right, two. So you get two two fish come out of it. So the fish hook is actually really cool. I only realized what it was after. 
it's sort of in the name, but I, I sort of forgot you can get hooks because I don't use them because I've got a good pair of wings. But yeah, the fish hook is really good. Really good. Oh, we do have a celestial stone. Okay, then. A celestial magnet, sorry. Now, let's go sell all this stuff, and then we'll go to our jungle biome, see if we can find any planteras, and get the axe, because I really do want the axe. I've wanted it for... Oh, I removed my golden candle. No, don't do that. I don't want to remove the golden candle. That's a beautiful candle. Okay, I think we moved its position, but it's okay. <laughs> it's done nothing bad. All right, we can get rid of the stink fish. These actually sell for quite a lot. So if you are fishing, you can make some really, really good money while you're fishing. So there we go. We can go check out our jungle biome right now. And we will go to our jungle, like I say, and see if we can get any planteras. So let's head over there right now. Let's just double check our biome. See if we can get any straight off the bat. Uh, is there any up the top? Because they're the ones that I like the most because they're the closest. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any right up high. But is there any down low? I actually can't find any today. Okay, I thought that was one then, but that isn't one. What, what you need to look for is really, 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 really light pink. Light pink patches. They're just about, just about lighter than the other part. Oh, okay, we need to get a clementator on this. I hate it when this spreads so much. It, it spreads so fast as well, though. That's a bad thing. It just spreads super fast, and if you leave any, it will just literally spread in about a few seconds. The, this is all gone back to corrupt biome, and it was normal biome before. It's because I left, like, one piece of normal, and it turns all corrupt, which sucks. That's a hollowed mob, isn't it? It's a purple slime. No, they, they spawn in the normal. Don't mind what I'm saying. Here we go. Turn this all into normal again. It has actually turned all into... That's actually gone so fast. It's turned all back into corrupt biome. So I should, I should get it all so it don't, don't <laughs> spread really fast. Because it spreads way too fast. You leave one piece, bam. It's spread in the next second. There we go. Just um, make sure all of it's clementated. think all of it's clementated now, so that's all good. Yeah, the toxic sludges, which actually are corrupt. So don't know where they're coming from, though. Because this is all, it's all jungle now, isn't it? Oh, no, there is a bit of a mix of corrupt in it as well. So let's just uh, go over here because there was a lot of corrupted, but I just actually saw some spread as well. So we need to get rid of all that. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And hopefully that don't spread for a while. I'm just going to leave it for now because we're not going to be heading that direction anytime soon. So we should be okay to keep going. Now let's see if we can find any planteras. Let's just have a quick look again. Let's have a really, really close look up to see if we can find any that are close to the top. Okay, so I've not saw a single one. Okay, I think I can see one. I think that's one. Unless, it, yeah, I believe that is one. So let's go down there. There is one very, very reasonably close to the top. So that should be good to go get. And then we'll see if we can get the axe. Because we're trying to find the axe. We've been trying to find it for so many episodes now. And there is the Plantera spawner. Like I said, it was very, very close by. Let's just uh, get our pickaxe so we can do it. And the Plantera, luckily, won't be enraged on us. So it won't be going absolutely crazy. Can't believe he just come out of nowhere and just RKO'd us last time. <laughs> that was just insane. Okay, Plantera's look. We just need to... There we go. It's, it's nice. Nice and calm. Not, not, not shooting all those little seeds at us and going crazy at us. But luckily, in its second form, it don't shoot those seeds. But if it does get really close to you, then it does uh, get, get really crazy and just take double the amount of damage off you. So it is really strong. But these bubbles should go to it and attack it really fast and just kill it. Let's just hope we get the axe because that is the very last drop we need from the plantera but really nice if we can get it and i don't know if the new update the new 1.2 4.1 update adds any plantera drops i don't believe it does but it might do you never know we might get a new drop somewhere I believe we just got the pygmy staff yeah we 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 got a wasp gun and a pygmy staff as normal. We just keep getting those over and over. If, it, if it's not that, then it's the Venus Magnum. If it's not the Venus Magnum, then we'll get the pet, the pet ceiling. If it's not the ceiling, then we'll just get a repeat of what we already got. So we keep getting repeats of items again and again and again. It is getting really annoying to keep getting those. But then again, I mean, at least we get loads of spares and we could just sell them and stuff. But it, it does suck. It really does. Just wish it would give me... Oh, it was it was, it was a Mimic then. Just checking it was a Mimic and it was. It's crazy. And we've got the Warding Cross Necklace. That's actually a really good drop. Especially because it's Warding. Because Warding will give you a bonus of four defense. So it's really good for you guys who like all your defense bonuses. 
Okay, I don't think this is one down here, but I'll go check anyway. Nah, it's not. I'm, I'm bad at finding them. <laughs> really bad at finding them. Can't believe there was one near the top and I didn't actually see that on the map. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to find many more today, guys. But I'm going to take a look after and, and take a look if I can farm any. You guys have probably saw a thousand odd and you're probably shouting at me right now through the screen. <laughs> but uh, please spare me, guys. Lots more videos coming soon. So thank you for watching today. If you do want to be on the shout out wall, all you got to do is stay active on the channel. By active, you don't need to spam comments or anything. You just need to, like, just a comment every now and again is good enough. That That's active to me, even if it's a comment every, every other video or a comment every five videos or whatever. Active just means that I see your name around and, you know, you're just active on the channel. That's pretty much what it is. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace.